Hello, my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Bat Player Two. If you wish to be that specific, today, welcome back once again to the game of Dragon Ball Online Generations here on the Roblox. Hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm providing to you guys. Our lovely Saiyan girl looks like she's got a new stance going on. I actually decided to buy the new stance. Just, you know, is that just the basic stance of her just standing there? Now she's doing little punches. She's like, I'm going to tussle. I'm going to tussle. Also, I think she's got a little walking animation. She's got a running animation. Also, the fighting style, I believe, is still Krillin's. I believe that's the fighting style we got going on right now. So, what are we going to do right now? Well, there are two things I was thinking about doing. I might... If we do one thing, we're going to do the other thing in another episode. I believe what we're going to do this episode is we are going to continue on the main storyline so we can get to the point where we can actually, you know, uh, go to Namek and try out the new stuff. We got to get through the story first before we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Now, as well, we do need to actually fight some of the mentors because we kind of need new moves. The only moves we're currently rocking are the ones that we got from Krillin. We definitely need some new moves. Unless we go to um, Skill Shop over here, Blast Beams, there's nothing. Nothing over there. The only thing is Ultimate Attacks, Victory Rush, or Salsa's Blade, which we could actually get, but nah, we're not going to bother right now. But yeah, you can see, like, we need to go and just basically go to um, travel to Earth Saiyan. That's, we can't do that. Or we can go to Masters. As you can see, there's a lot of Masters we can actually do. Kid Gohan, apparently, is a Master. Uh, Krillin, we've already 100%ed. Mercedes Town, Nappa, Piccolo, Raditz, Tien. And Yamcha could go ahead and do all that. But what level are we currently right now? We are level 90. So, you know, we're getting higher. We're getting higher on the list of uh, how much pain we could dish out. Let's go ahead. We'll plop this at uh, 55. Let's get our health up to 85. Let's get hit. And then the rest of it, I think we're just going to plop it into just straight, straight up melee. There we go. 105 melee, 155 key blast. That's actually pretty solid. So we're going to go. And um, I just want to make sure that, like, you know, I have the... Uh, I want to see, I, I want to make sure, oh, oh, I didn't realize, that, I always forget that's the move to actually do that. Um, let's see, G, yep, okay, we still have the great ape, actually, we can turn the aura on. <laughs> we have the aura on at all times, just for lols. Um, you know what, let's have the aura on, just for lols, just to have it on, you know, just to change the pace this time around. Let's have the aura on. We got to go and go to that red spot, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I think, honestly, what we're going to do, too, is pretty much great ape our way over there, because, uh, if you guys don't remember from the last episode, Great Ape is a tad bit powerful. Just a little bit. <laughs> so uh, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and Great Ape our way over to whoever the heck we're facing next. Which I'm assuming is Vegeta. I'm assuming we're probably going to go ahead and say hi to Vegeta. Which then hopefully we could get like his mentor and start doing some of Vegeta's moves. But here we are. Alright, so here we go. What's up, uh, Vegeta? Hey, Vegeta, what's up? What's up, Jeets? Hmm, sooner or later, I'm gonna get rid of this pitiful planet. If you decide to stand my way, then meet me in the Rocky Mountains. Okay, very well. Looks like we do, do have a heart. All right, so that means I have to fight him all the way over there, and yep, I gotta beat up Vegeta, which will give me... It looks like it will give me 12,000 experience, which at this point is freaking nothing. <laughs> at my level, that is nothing when it comes to experience. Even double experience is 224,000. Uh, That's still not really, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I need 51,000 level up. That's only like half a level to beat up this guy. So there's Vegeta. Here he is. There's the man right now. The man, the myth, the legend right there. Um, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn in to the great ape. All right, here we go. We're going to go great ape up in here. And, you know, we're going to, you know, teach Vegeta not to mess with the giant ape. All right, so here we go. Look at that tiny aura. Tiny aura, tiny aura. Here we go. That actually did a pretty decent amount of damage. I mean, yeah, he's a freaking legend. He's a freaking boss. He would probably be a lot of, uh, you know, pretty decent amount of damage here. But, you know, let's let's go ahead. All right. Oh, God. Okay, Barrage. That did a pretty decent amount of damage to myself, which was weird. Vegeta. Vegeta, Vegeta, I was going to say, you're actually winning against me. I'm a freaking monkey. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, Vegeta. Get on the ground. <laughs> Bully him. Bully him into the ground. Wow, this is literally all you do. You kind of just go up to him and just punch him a lot. Wow, that is a, that is a, a little bit um, unsettling. Literally, I, I don't have time to actually even charge. Like, I just got to do this to him. He's trying to barrage me while he's on the ground here and everything. He's trying to do other moves, but guess what? He doesn't realize that he could just cut off my tail or turn into a great ape himself. Which I don't think this man is act, is smart enough to actually do that. Let's see. Boom. I was going to say. All right. Let's actually use some of the other melee moves. There we go. I think if you right click, it actually does like a little bit different. No, it's pretty much the same. It's the same thing. All right. There's nothing really different. It's just, it's just going to knock him every single time. 
it's not like okay honestly i'm not doing nearly as much damage as i thought i was going to to be quite honest he's still doing a decent amount to me which uh, i'm not very happy about and i'm not doing nearly as much as i thought he would be doing like let's see Yeet. there we go stay in the corner vegeta i'm just gonna bully you okay dude all right if you don't mind watch this Actually, I don't even have enough key for any of the other moves right now. Okay, Vegeta, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and just bully you a little bit here. I'm just, oh my god, this is literally just bullying. Poor Vegeta. Yeah, this is kind of the cheap way of winning, apparently. Yeah, this is it. You just kind of go great ape and, you know, things. Ow! First off, not cool, Vegeta. He actually got a Gala gun off of me. Because if he stays in the corner, I actually don't think I could hit him. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to please stop that. All right, nope, he's going to Gala. He, he looked like he wanted that Gala gun. There we go. Okay, so, hey, hey, Vegeta. There it is. Okay, so you actually got me with that one. All right. So, I think, honestly, the goal is to not use an ultimate ability because the ultimate ability seemed that to be really, really uh, cost-effective and puts you at a great disadvantage. So, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Where I got to go? I got to go that way. Look how big I am. All right. It's a yeet. All right, we're going to go. We got our little tiny aura. By the way, that needs to be changed where I can actually have the entire aura. Also... Wow, I am really slow when I'm, uh... Is this, is this the speed? Maybe this is normal speed, huh? Weird. All right, where's Vegeta? Vegeta, please tell me that you have still low health. Yeah, he's got pretty much low health. All right, so let's see here. Maybe we could do some giant explosion waves. All right, giant explosion waves! Sorry, Vegeta. Yeah, okay, so that did, like, nothing, but let's see. Bang! Okay, that didn't really do anything. Let's see, mouth beam? Mouth beam! He did not care. He did not care about the math being whatsoever. I mean, same, dude. But let's see. All right. Stop him. Bang. I, do, I think that it did count. That did count because it did say in the corner that it did one hit. That actually did count. It, there wasn't any sound for it, but watch this. Mouth beam. You're going to do that to me, sir? He does not care about the mouth beams. I will, man. He does not care at all. You know what we're going to do? Giant explosion wave, maybe? Bang. There we go. I don't know if the giant explosive waves actually does anything. I think it just might be a move to, like, you know, knock him out of the way if he's bullying you. Also, it looks like, um, what is going on? Oh, it's light. Dude, how do you even find, how do you even find me in these games? I don't know. He's, he finds me, and he's just like, I'm just going to beat you up all the time. People, you guys are ridiculous, especially light. He's been following me for, th what, how many years? Three years? <laughs> whatever that's fine we well i think honestly i think we're okay i honestly don't think we need his help to be quite honest i honestly think we're we we're actually perfectly fine you know what we're just gonna go ahead bang bully him over and over again take the double punches uh and then you know take this maybe an explosive wave in the corner stay in the corner vegeta no one likes you yeah i was gonna say i think he i think oh yeah light's trying to figure out a way to actually get a move out there there we go let's go and now he's out there, so... Hey, Vegeta. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's doing that. <laughs> How did you miss a giant monkey, Vegeta? How? Whatever. Here's a giant punch. Here's double punch. There we go. Ow, I'm getting shot in the back by him. I don't know what level light is. I'm assuming... I think he's actually a level 100-ish at this point. Ow, that one... Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a Gallic gun right into my freaking face. Ah! I think I hit light. <laughs> I hit light with that one. That's actually funny. Yeet, come on. Let's go. Bang, bang. There we go. Oh, I'm actually might die here. I straight up... Oh, he's going into a giant ape. Ow. You, you bum. Nice butt. All right. Let's see. I, I actually died there. That's really unfortunate. Um, Let's see. Let's actually get over there. I don't think I need to go Super Saiyan. I mean, I'd go great ape this time around. Let's actually go ahead and hopefully Light doesn't actually finish off, finish him off, which is highly possible he will. Um, So let's go. He's a giant ape. Oh, no. he He's no longer a giant ape. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I can't even lock. There it goes. Okay. I was going to say. Here we go. Scatter. There we go. Okay, actually, that... Oh, my God. This guy... Are... No, on, let's go, Vegeta. Let's go, dude. Come on, let's go. I was going to say, he's got... He's still got a buttload of freaking avoids. That's annoying. Oh, and there we go. Easy. So, they actually got us a level there. What is it? What is our level now? I'm assuming 91, right? Yeah, 91. So, let's get up this one there. And it also said that we can actually do stuff for... On the next mission. Uh, yes, let's go this way. All right. I know people are currently following me. We'll, we'll let them follow me. But I'm just curious to see what else is there. Um, that one wasn't too bad. I'm assuming that, like, you know, the great ape is good. But you're limited to what you can do. Like, I can't combo as a great ape. I'm just kind of punishing him into the corner until he dies. Which, honestly, doesn't do that much damage. Maybe to, like, you know, the minions. It actually would do a lot of damage. But to just, like, normal stuff. Like, to the bosses, nah. 
does nothing. <laughs> um, we're gonna go. Let's see. This is probably the next mission. Is probably the um, you're going to Namek mission, right? That's probably the next mission. Which, in that's the case, I think uh, we probably won't be able to do the next part because we're not at the appropriate level yet. Let's say yeet right there. Okay, what's up? Oh, Krillin, what's up, dude? Um, hey, you see me hungry. Want to go camping uh, with the rest of my friends? Great. Let's start by fighting some. I'm fighting wood? Excuse me? Okay, well, I found the wood. I'm sure we're going camping. All right, so I got the camping. So now I have to go all the way over there. We're going camping? Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the camping part. Also, why do I have to fly across the entire world to do camping? Do I have to fight Turles? Or do I have to fight Lord Slug? I just realized that, like, this is actually, like, different missions. All right, let's see. Who's here? It's Tien and Jabja again. What's up, dudes? These people are very strange. They want to absorb the planet. Ah, okay, we're doing the Tree of Might. We're doing the Tree of Might. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're doing the Tree of Might stuff. All right, so 1,400. Oh, yep, okay. I saw these guys before, and I was curious as to why they were here. I don't know why they were here, but they're here. So, do you know what we're going to do is we're going to leave these guys for a different time. Because, uh, you know, I think uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think uh, we're going to leave these guys for a different time. I think what we're going to do is we should be able to... Yes, Vegeta Scatter. Tra train. All right, here we go. We're going to go hi and say hi to Vegeta because, you know, I feel like we deserve that one. Um, let's see. As long as we can load. <laughs> it says loading, so um, there it goes. Okay, we're going to go and do some training with Vegeta. Now, Vegeta might absolutely kick her butts, but you know what I need? I feel like I should have a Gallic gun besides a uh, besides just a standard Kamehameha. And I'm assuming that because it's a new mentor, we should be able to, you know, do some decent... Like, you know, we should be able to get, like, a move that does more damage to Kamehameha. The Kamehameha should not do nearly as much damage as what Vegeta is sending us. So let's see. Vegeta, what's up? What the hell do you want? Teach me. Uh, wait. Uh, spar. I, I think. Okay. You just wait. We get out of my sight. Yeah, we have to spar with him. All right, spar. You want to have a battle? Fine. Come with me. All right. So there we go. So now we are here. He is level ninety-one, which is the same level as me. Hmm. That's uh, interesting. I wonder if it change. It must change to what your. Uh, it must change to whatever your level is currently. So let's go ahead. We're gonna scatter shot this. Boom. I should do a decent amount of damage there. It does. Oh, God. Gallic gun. That's not very nice, sir. All right. Here's uh, here's this. Yee. Oh, you dodged that. Okay. It, okay. I see you, Vegeta. I see you. I see you, Vegeta. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's trying to do something. He's trying to do something silly there. And then take this. Take the little tiny key blast, dude. Because um, the wave would not work in that situation. Also, oh, he's doing the same thing to me. Vegeta, no. Also, yeah, I'm doing a decent amount of damage to him this time around. Okay. There we go. So when he st starts coming after me, boom, come in, man time. Oh, he's doing a Gallic gun. No, he's not. <laughs> I saw the Gallic gun come out. I'm like, oh, here comes the little tiny key blast, which uh, I will go. Ahead. Oh, oh, kind of walked into that one, unfortunately. Watch this. You walked into that one as well, you freaking idiot. All right, let's go. Bang. All right, so that actually worked out in our favor because he was about to Gallic gun us right there. There we go. All right. Charge this bad boy up a little bit. Right when he's coming out. Bang. There we go. Oh, yeah. He was trying to do the little tiny key blast. Yeah, he was trying to do the energy blo uh, the, vo the volley there. He was trying to do the little boys. Only I could do the little boys. There we go. Let's see. There we go. And then... Booyah! Sparring complete. You can ask something from your mentor. Ask them to teach you something. Quit sparring for now. All right. What's up, Vegeta? Uh, what the hell you want? Teach me. The finish breaker. Okay, finish breaker. Blast. Equip it in the skills menu. So we got a super attack. Not an ultimate attack, but we got a super attack. So what is the super attack? It's a uh, finish breaker, which is uh, right there. Finish breaker. It is a 200 key attack. So let's get rid of the destructive disc because I honestly wasn't really using that. What is this? Can I not use it? Okay, maybe I don't have enough key right now. Let's see. Now? Okay, so it's a little, it's a little tiny key blast. Okay, so it's a little tiny key blast. Just like the energy brush. So we have two of them now that do that kind of move. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing to have two of those types of moves. But, you know, that's okay. What the hell you want? Let's go freaking... Oh, wait. I forgot. Uh, Yeah, let's train. All right, let's go. What level are you now? You are still level 90. Okay, so you're same level as... Uh, 
the save level as before. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to go ahead and do the scatter shot. Bang. Which we're going to lose all of our key because, you know, that's just how it works, unfortunately. Oh, God. We're going to run slightly over here. I kind of want to use this finish breaker on him. Let's see. Beat. There we go. Okay. It did, it did a decent amount. Not crazy, but, you know. Let's see. Come on, Vegeta. Go. <laughs> we're just hitting each other at the same time. Bang. That's just the energy volley. That wasn't actually the finish breaker that time. Nope. Sir, sir, I'm going to ask you to please. Please. Jesus, how many times is he going to warp away from me? There we go. Okay, so he's got normal warps now. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead. Come on, Vegeta. After me! Let's go. Yeah, that's going to hurt him a lot. Yeah, that hurt him a pretty decent amount. All right, here we go. Let's charge up a little bit. Oh, he's doing that to me. Guess what, Vegeta? I can do the same thing! Also, he gained all of his freaking uh, avoids back. He gained all this... Uh... Oh, God, that's going to hurt because I didn't avoid it. Oh, woo! That was close. All right. Oh, God, that was... Oh, he freaking tricked me. I got baited! Also, I might die here. Please, Vegeta, no. Vegeta, please, no. Please, Vegeta, no, please, no. Oh, please don't Gallic Gun. He's thinking about it, isn't he? No, he didn't. Oh, God! Oh, my God, please. Okay, nope, we got to do this to him. There we go. That was gonna say that one's pretty. That was pretty easy. Once we got, once you get all of the avoids away, and once you get all the vanishers away, you literally could just do that endless combo to them, and it's just pain and suffering. So what else did you get? Teach me. We got the Gallic Gun. All right. Thank you. So now we actually have. A, I could actually get something that will replace the standard Kamehameha. Heck yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to do. No. Uh, talk with me. I'll be the one to overthrow three I swear on my sand pride. Wow, you're so you're so fun to talk to, Vegeta. Uh, come here. There we go. So now we have the Gallic Horn. Freaking awesome move. Always been a fan of the Gallic Gun. People don't... Well, I a good amount of you have watched me during my Xenoverse playthroughs, but I always... Always use the Gallic Gun over Kamehameha for some reason. I feel like the Gallic Gun, especially in the Xenoverse games, Gallic Gun was a faster wave attack, and you could actually combo really easy with that. Unlike the Kamehameha, that actually took like a split more second to actually charge up. Kamehameha probably did more damage, but the Gallic Gun also, I mean, that's actually a really cool effect, I will admit, with all the lightning effects around it. That's actually really freaking cool. I actually like that. Yeet! We're going up in the air like that. Wish it still kept that, but you know, I, honestly, I'm just, you know, I'm quite satisfied with the, how that looks. Um, but yeah, I'm a Gallic Gun fan. Always been a fan of the Gallic Gun, so um, I'm just happy that, you know, we have it this time. But on that note, my friends, I'm going to go right ahead and say thank you guys for joining me once again. Um, next episode, I'm hoping that maybe we could be at the level of level 100 to maybe be able to go to Namek soon, or at least get Fall Super Saiyan. I kind of want Fall Super Saiyan. Because that is the form, if you guys didn't know. If you go to M, you go to Transformations. Uh, wait, um, no, you have to go to Shop, Skill Shop, Transformations, Bang, Fall Super Saiyan, which is at lo unlocks at level 100. We are now currently, currently, my friends, we are at level 91. So we're only nine levels away from getting Fall Super Saiyan, which honestly isn't that bad. It's just the, um, if you guys are curious, the... Uh, <laughs> Um, if you guys are curious when doing that training for the, uh, hyper, for the, not the grav room, my God, it takes so long to even get a level at this point. It took, it, like, I was in there for like five, I was in there for like 15, 20 minutes and it gains like seven levels. So yeah, I could do it again and I probably will to like hundred, but once we get to planet Namek, if it doesn't upgrade, I don't know if that's useful anymore. So we'll have to see. But on that note, my friends, I am going to be saying Thank you guys for joining once again, and I'll be seeing you like da 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 da. <laughs>